OK, so you're trying to import data from Excel, but the Excel file has errors. You can see it here. One of the loaded queries contains errors. You can see view errors. When you click in here, it creates a folder on Power Query, and you have to go to Power Query to see it. So now here you see the error, and it's here on line 21. And then you can see here, error, error. So this is the data, and you can see the error in here. So there are a few ways that you can manage these. Uh, if you know for sure that that line with the error is not useful for you, you just go Control A, click on the table, Control A, and then remove rows, and that will get rid of the row. But it might be so that that line should be there, but just the error should not show. So now you're going to do Control A. You have to go just to the, do it one by one. So go to the column that has the error. You do right click replace error, and then you do null. And then here, if you want, you can add, or you can actually go here and do the exact same thing, and then you do null. So it will keep the row, but it will get rid of the errors. Obviously, the best way is to go to where the error is. Now we don't have any error. Go to the source, find where the error is, and fix it. Right. But it's your choice how you do it, depending on what your needs are. So this is all for me. I will see you again in the next one.